Hello and welcome to my very first GPU review video. I have finally decided to try out the YouTube review thing and tackle a few different topics. My original plan was to make my first GPU review video with an RTX 3080, but they are hard to find in stock at decent prices. This video is an updated review covering my Radeon RX Vega 64 on the X58 platform. Last summer I wrote an article which shows the Vega 64 and X58 performance. I've also included a comparison against the 5700 XT, GTX 1080 Ti, and 27 Super which were all running on modern platforms. This video will focus more on games that I didn't get a chance to benchmark in my previous review. If you would like to check out my previous Vega 64 articles, I'll leave a link below this video. I'm currently running a 12 year old Intel X58 platform. It's an old platform but it is still a beast and holds its own in many scenarios. I'm planning to create plenty of content using my legacy X58 platform, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and check back later. Moving on to the specifications, you can see that I'm running a X5660 at 4.6 GHz, a ASUS Sabertooth X58, along with 24GB of registered ECC buffered RAM. I have a 1300W 80 plus gold supernova. Also have a 3 terabyte that pushes 2.7 gigabytes read and 2.1 gigabytes write. I'm basically trying to eliminate as many bottlenecks as possible on this older X58 platform. Since the Vega 64 pulls so much wattage, I decided to leave the core clock at stock, but I did overclock the HBM memory to 1100 megahertz. All right, checking out Doom Eternal, we can see that I get 223 frames per second, 182 frames per second at 1440p, and 94 frames per second at 4K. The industry can use more games like this. It takes advantage of a modern API and async compute flawlessly. Now we get to one of the biggest games or biggest letdowns of the year. Cyberpunk 2077 has received multiple patches to fix game breaking issues. When using ultra settings, 1080p runs decently, 1440p has micro stutter, and 4K is simply unplayable. I feel like the Vega 64 should run much better than from what I've seen. This title would definitely need to be retested in the future when more updates are released. Looking at control, we can see that it supports both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. Similar to Resident Evil 2, DirectX 11 runs better than DirectX 12 in nearly all cases. Control runs fairly well at 1080p and 1440p, 4K simply runs terribly. Surprisingly with AA disabled, DirectX 12 runs worse than DirectX 11 with AA enabled. After optimizing my issues by lowering two settings from high to medium, I was able to resolve the issues at 4K easily. Be sure to read my article for more information about optimizing this game. Horizon Zero Dawn also runs well. The most interesting thing that I noticed was that even at 4K, the game runs very smoothly and stable. Which was surprising because I thought that the Vega 64 might struggle in this title, but it actually ran very well and the X58 actually performs flawlessly at 4K, no complaints. Metro Exodus is another title that runs very well at 4K, pulling in 43 frames per second on the stream and lowering the settings to ultra allow me to pull in an additional 9 frames. I decided to revisit Shadow of the Tomb Raider and the results were very unexpected. 1440p shows an increase of 18%, which means an additional 15 FPS. So even though the game already ran great before, it ran even better this time around. 4K shows a 10% increase in average frames per second, which comes out to an additional 5 frames per second in this case. I have shown a detailed chart listing the percentages and increases, so be sure to check the article for a more in-depth look. Hunt Shadow is an interesting game and performs well at 1080p and 1440p. 4K on the other hand requires some optimizations. 4K doesn't run well at all and you will need to use AA. I lowered two settings from high to medium and used SMAA1X. The two settings I lowered was lighting and post process quality. As you can see, my average FPS increased by a much needed 24%. Actually just about everything increased by about 20%. Even after lowering a few settings, the game looks and plays great at 4K. Using the Ultra preset, we can see that the Vega 64 does very well. 1440p is the sweet spot as usual and 4K performs great. There was no micro stutter or issues while using a DX11 API and I have nothing negative to say about my experience in Quantum Break. Call of Duty Warzone is one of the hottest and competitive shooters out right now. 
I decided to load the game up and run a quick benchmark at 1080p with low and high graphical settings. I was able to pull 163 frames per second with the lowest graphical settings and 129 frames per second with the highest settings. The X58 in Vega 64 is more than capable for competitive gamers. I'd like to briefly speak about the used Vega 64 prices. The average price has been increasing since last summer. Gamers have noticed the potential and are paying upwards towards 100% more than the average price from last summer. To get more information on the price details, check my article at overclockedingame.com. Alright, to wrap it all up, anyone using an RX Vega 64 and an X58 in 2021 should have no problems enjoying games at multiple resolutions. Overclocking the HBM was simple and allowed me to gain performance that was virtually free. So overall, the experience was great and really gives my X58 more chef life. I had no driver issues or crashing while playing, so AMD is doing a great job with the drivers. Be sure to check out my Vega 64 articles on overclockthengame.com for other games and info that wasn't discussed here. And thank you all for checking out my very first YouTube video. I know it's a little rough, so cut me a little slack, but I'm getting used to this YouTube stuff, and uh, I'm just glad I made it to the end. <laughs> Next on the list, I'm planning an RTX 3080 and X58 review, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to try my best to make it happen. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you enjoy my content, please consider supporting me on Patreon or by donating on PayPal in the links below this video. Thank you. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them, only you. Rip and tear until it is done.